Hi, my name is Ashley. Hi, my name is Brandon. And, and today, today we're, we're going to talk about our science experiment. experiment. <laughs> our question is, can, can you retrain your brain to read upside down? A year ago, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. My mom bought this big book and she read it. She, we heard a lot about retraining your brain and rewiring your brain. So we looked farther into it and we learned about the word neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is how the brain can adapt and change based on experience. Have you ever heard the saying, practice makes perfect? So the way it works is, messages from your brain travel through many nerve cells. As they hop from one nerve cell to the next, the neurotransmitters are there to help. Because without them, the messages couldn't travel because they wouldn't be able to connect. Scientists have found that the more messages travel through the same nerve cells, the thicker they become. They've discovered it's not the axon that's getting thicker, it's the myelin sheath that's wrapping around it. You can compare this to a rocky road and a really fast highway. So at first, it's like the rocky road. It's very slow and inefficient. That's like when you're first learning something. You have to think about it for a really long time. But the more you do the same things, the thicker those connections become, which moves you onto like a fast highway where you're going triple times the speed. That's pretty much what the myelin sheath does. The more you use the same connections, the thicker it wraps around the axon, which makes it way more efficient. And that's why practice actually does make perfect. According to the book, this is what a brain looks like when they're reading. A non-dyslexic and a dyslexic. Non-dyslexic, you can see, uses three parts that have all been activated. A dyslexic only uses one. The other two have not been activated. The one that a dyslexic uses is being way overused. It's important for a person with dyslexia to know that they're not stupid. Their brain is just wired differently. And when they have a tutor that can help them activate those areas, they will get better at reading and they'll be more confident. And that's why we chose this project, because we thought that if you can retrain your brain to activate reading parts in your brain, you can probably retrain it to read upside down. A hypothesis is that if you were to read upside down and practice, you'd get better and faster. So here's how we did our experiment. We had our friends, our family, and anyone who was willing to be a test subject for us. We had them read upside down on the best vacation ever, a grade five level reading sheet for one minute. Then we wrote how many words per minute they got on our special chart. Then we instructed them to read upside down each day for a week. And then the next week we brought them all back and tested them on upside down on a new reading sheet called Jump Around. Then we wrote how many words per minute they got and then we put it on a bar graph and compared the two. We split our results into three categories. Kids, teachers, adults. The light pink is the first test that we tested them on and the dark pink is the second test we tested them on. The reason we split teachers and adults were because, well, teachers got much higher than adults. Our analysis is, we noticed that every single test subject improved. Age didn't really make a difference, as you can see from the adults and kids charts. We noticed that teachers scored higher because they're used to working in an environment where they are constantly reading upside down. And we also noticed that the people who scored higher on their first test, they didn't double on their second, whereas the people who scored lower on their first try got like quadruple and quintupled their next score. We also noticed that the people who practiced less days didn't improve as much as the people who practiced more days. We also asked all the people in our test subjects if they found it easier as the week progressed. And all of them said that by the third day, they all said that it felt easier and they could read faster. It shows practice does make perfect. Our conclusion shows that yes, you can retrain your brain to read upside down. This shows that people can learn new things and make new connections at all ages because cells that fire together, wire together. And if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.